Hey everyone, what's up? This is Blaze. Welcome to my 100k video, or at least one of my 100k videos, because I am planning on doing another one. But this one is going to be my room tour slash gaming setup video. So I think this would be a really cool thing to do for 100k, because I've never done like any kind of gaming set. I think I may have done a gaming setup like way back, but uh, I've never done like a room tour or anything like that. So here is the entrance to my room. It's in the basement, and it has two windows, I guess. That one doesn't even have like a uh, curtain over it but yeah here is my room I have a Grand Theft Auto 5 poster on my door it's been there since like the release of the game on consoles I think and then uh, yeah, I walk in here there's my bed and like a bookshelf and then my bed has like a lot of shelves on the back of it as well uh, fridge mini fridge my laptop is over there I'll show that off uh, a little later here's my actual setup where my chair is and my two screens, and then my computer's back there a ways. You can kind of see it. And yeah, there's my uh, TV that I bought, like, I think I bought that like a year or two ago. And I've had that. And then uh, I have a lot of consoles here. I'll kind of go through those in a little bit. Dresser, a lot of random stuff on it. I even have like this Halo statue that I won from a giveaway one time. And uh, a few random stuff. There's the, there's the loot crate pins. <laughs> And then uh, yeah, some random figures and stuff. There's that. There's that amazing uh, Luke Cage sunglasses thing. The thing that I will be unboxing soon are these Funko Mystery Boxes. Today at GameStop they have these. Um, they're kind of like limited edition, and uh, they have like a mystery figure in them and some other things, some other action figures in them. So I bought two of them. We'll unbox those later today, or not later today. Well, I'll, I don't know. I don't know what I'll post, maybe tomorrow, we'll see. Here's my phone, I have an HTC One phone. You can see the lens, there it is, you can see my the top of my head. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I think that's that's basically like the general overview, so let's start going into the details about stuff. Okay, so I guess we can start over here. I think this is like a 42 inch TV here. And which consoles do I have? Can you even see down here? I have a PS3, that's an Xbox uh, 360. I had a Wii U, but I think uh, they took it out into like the basement area by the TV. <laughs> my brother had an Xbox One I bought Destiny for just to play it. And uh, then he sold the Xbox One, so I had that game with no console for it. Yeah, those are just my consoles. I don't really play on console anymore since I got a computer. So uh, I don't really have a need to. There's my router right here. It's a, it's like a Nighthawk. I don't know the exact model of it, but it's a Netgear Nighthawk router. It's pretty good. And um, my modems back there. I just upgraded that this year. There's my headphones if you guys have ever seen me use those in videos when I do face cam I sometimes use those. But yeah here's like my main desk. Uh, there's the lens cap of this camera I'm using. There's my GameStop receipt from those uh, Funko Pops. Uh, can I get my background here? Here's my background right now. It's a Rick and Morty kind of like uh, what do you call it? It's kind of like a mashup. It almost looks like Star Wars a little bit. It's got some dinosaurs in it and it's got the Rick and Morty uh, guy from if you guys have seen that episode. If you haven't seen Rick and Morty, I highly recommend it. So yeah, here's my main monitor and then this is like my side monitor that I use. I guess we'll start with like kind of the peripherals and stuff and then we'll get to the actual uh, what I use in my computer. But yeah, I always use um, a Razer Death Adder mouse. Those are my favorite ones that um, I've used. I had like one, like the gaming MMO ones with like a bunch of buttons on the side, but I think this one's fine. It just has the two buttons and then uh, the scroll wheel. So it's pretty simple, but I think it, it works fine for me. So that's the Razer Death Adder. And for my keyboard, I use the Logitech G710 Plus, which is a pretty good keyboard. Kind of like, like the silent edition. This is what the reason I got it. My brother has a Razer, um, what is it called? The Razer Black Widow, and it's super loud. This one's pretty quiet. The monitors are BenQ monitors. I'm not sure the exact size. I think it's like, I had to guess it's like 20 something inches maybe 22 23 inches they're not like huge monitors but they are like pretty good size so I have two of those that I bought when I was sitting on my computer um, here's my webcam if you can even see it I don't even think you can see it I need like more light you can kind of see it I was thinking about upgrading my webcam this one is only like a 720p webcam so I kind of wanted the 1080p one maybe I'll get into this Christmas who knows uh, there's one of my uh, external hard drives that's like a two terabyte or one terabyte I think that I have up there um, my speakers which are just really good these are like $20 speakers I think off Amazon so 
but they're also Logitech and they work really well. There's my bobbleheads from uh, the Loot Crate stuff. And uh, yeah, here's my mic. So I use a Blue Yeti mic. I've used this since like the dawn of my YouTube, it seems, um, when I was actually able to afford a mic. And uh, I just use a regular pop filter on it, mounted onto the mic stand here. Mic stand's like 25 bucks, I think, maybe 20. And then I get the Blue Yeti, there it is. And I plug in my headphones that you always, uh, I'm always using for like Skype and that kind of thing. Wallet. I also use my mouse pad. I use the uh, Goliathus by Razer. That I just kind of put everything on and it just sits on that. And uh, I like it because it just kind of fits the length of my desk. So moving on to my actual computer. Here it is. Uh, here's kind of like my cord situation. I have like a an outlet plug in here, like a power strip here. And then uh, you can kind of see a little bit into my computer. I actually have the door already taken off because I was so lazy the last time I was doing something in here that I didn't put it back on. So, yeah, here it is. <laughs> if I had a light, I wonder if I can... Let me grab a flashlight. Boom, now we can actually see stuff. Yes, there it is. Wow, this actually looks like more of a mess than I thought. But, yeah, here's my uh, the insides of my computer. I will put all the specs in the description so you guys can check it out. I did build this myself like a while back. And it's a pretty decent PC. I mean, the graphics card, I don't remember the exact model of the graphics card. I think it's like 7, if I had to guess, I'd say 760 Ti or something like that. Maybe, it's, I think it might be a 780 Ti. And then uh, 16 gigs of RAM. You can see back there, power supply is like 700, 750 watt. And uh, I have a few drives in here. I'll have to remember them and then put them in the description as well. And uh, what is the, I have an i7, I'm not sure of the exact, I think it's like 49, 49 something, uh, not graphics card, uh, processor, so I'll put that also in the description uh, when I look it up and <laughs> figure out which one exactly I have so I don't get it wrong and say it wrong on camera. But yeah, that is uh, basically the insides of my PC. Moving on, trash can, belt, and uh, here's my new laptop that I got, this is the Surface Book. I'm not sure if anyone's, if you guys have actually seen this before, but I need two hands to open this. So yeah, here is the Surface Book. It's pretty nice. It's kind of like that tablet PC that they were talking about in the Microsoft conferences and, and all that. Basically, you can detach this screen and it can be a tablet computer at the same time. So it's nice. I use it for school stuff and like my programming and all that. So. I like it for that. It's good that I finally have a laptop like that. I haven't had one since high school, so I finally just decided to buy my own. There's my fridge that I use to put pizza in. Um, here is my main like bookshelf behind my bed. Um, I have all those pops there. These ones came with the Star Wars crate that I didn't do a video on, but uh, there's also two. There's one pop in each of those as well, so we'll see which ones we get for that. But yeah, there's like my main. Um, main five pops that I have. I also have some of my dresser you might have seen. And then uh, some random stuff. Controller, tissues, a uh, dragon. There it is. Doesn't have any teeth. Poor dragon. And yeah, Ruby's unsolved Rubik's Cube. Does anyone know how to solve that thing? Because I would have to look it up to, to figure out how to do that. Some random stuff. And uh, here's my posters. Uh, Rocket Raccoon poster. I bought this before Guardians of the Galaxy came out because I was so excited for it. Uh, random creeper thing. Hobbit, Minecraft poster, Jack and Daxter poster, if anyone knows that game, like, yeah. That was from the actual box in the game itself. Um, that is a Disney Infinity poster that came with the game. Um, another Minecraft poster, I just bought two of those when I bought it. Black Ops 2, which is like my favorite Call of Duty. I didn't get Black Ops 3 because I don't really like, <laughs> I don't really like those kind of FPS games anymore. Uh, Little Big Planet 2, I was hyped for that game when it came out. The Power Box calendar. But yeah, let's go ahead and look outside. It was super cold today. Like, you can see the ice on the ground right there and there on our fire pit. And yeah, to get <laughs> to get those boxes, I had to like go through the ice. And not really snow, but like just a lot of ice and it's like super cold. So, yeah, there's a backyard that we have a trampoline. And that's where our trampoline used to be until we moved it over there. So yeah, I think that's just about going to do it for this setup video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. 
And uh, again, thank you for 100k. It was pretty awesome. I will be unboxing these soon in a video, so stay tuned for that. But uh, yeah, thank you to everyone that's helped me get to 100k. Like, <laughs> I will do a video like talking about you know hitting this milestone in like a separate video because I don't have time for it right now. So stay tuned for that probably in the next few days. That'll be exciting. But yeah, I look forward to this video soon. Other than that, like this video if you guys have enjoyed it, and I'll see you all next time.